How's it going, folks? Just a just a quick note on the 3D news for today. Uh, today there's uh, the release of Shark Knight uh, 3D. It's directed by David Ellis, I believe. What is he? There he is. Um, it's directed by uh, David Ellis, the guy who uh, directed uh, the fourth Final Destination film, The Final Destination. It's also produced by uh, Mike Fleiss and Chris Briggs, who have worked on the Hostel and Texas Chain Saw Massacre films. So, hmm, let's see. Final Destination, Hostel, Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Gory, gory films. And now uh, comes this uh, movie, uh, Shark Knight 3D. Uh, and the interesting thing about this uh, this movie is that uh, it is rated PG-13. <laughs> so they try to be somewhat safe in the movie. And, and it actually doesn't make sense and makes you kind of hope for maybe you know, when they come out with the DVD that it's uh, an unrated uh, uh, form or something because it doesn't make sense that these uh, these horror uh, movie makers are doing a PG-13 safe uh, shark film. So, uh, got some pretty lukewarm reviews from what I've seen here uh, with a name like Shark Knight 3D. Uh, the name you basically gain what you expect, uh, essentially from what I'm getting from reviews. I haven't seen the movie yet. I'm not planning to, uh, probably not even when it comes to DVD. But, you know, it does get a person to uh, wonder, you know, if, you know, say after The Phantom Menace is released in February in 3D, that suddenly uh, converting 3D films. Uh, becomes a, uh, uh, a you know pretty much a, uh, could bring the movies to 3D uh, older films classic films becomes the norm and okay so what if Steven Spielberg agreed to do this after the adventures of Tintin and uh, and decided to convert his uh, movie Jaws into 3D I think a lot of people go well, you know that's that'd be awesome that'd be sweet but what would he call it you know can't call Jaws 3D. Jaws 3D is already uh, used for that uh, pretty tepid uh, Randy Quaid, uh, Bess Armstrong movie released it back in 1983. But uh, conversion has nothing to do with Shark Knight 3D. Uh, it is a native 3D format. So, um, you know, what you're seeing is, uh, is real 3D, so it should go pretty much easier on your eyes. Uh, when you watch it, it's a more na naturalistic uh, type of 3D. Yeah, this uh, this PG-13 uh, uh, thing kind of gets me wondering. You know, it is the first uh, you know weekend after after the first week of school, so they're probably trying to uh, uh, get the kids away from their studies. You know, I'm bringing out a a 3D film that they would uh, be able to go to, but. It's just a typical type of a beginning of September blah type movies that have come out. At least this is what I'm getting from the reviews. I I may be like totally off of left field, and but I'm not going to spend my money to to find out if I'm wrong or not. Uh, uh, if anyone does see the movie, uh, you know, comment down below. Let me know. If it did make a, a pretty good, uh, you know, if it still has got the jolts, you know, even though it uses the more, uh, like, bloodless 3D um, effects to them. I mean, we can expect, uh, you know, some violence with it. But, uh, again, it's hopefully going to be using some things like suspense, you know, and, uh, and, and uh, definitely good cinematography, good filming uh, in order to, you know, get done with what it's trying to get done here. I hope everybody has a good day and I will uh, talk with everyone tomorrow.